But would you really give your life to somebody else? So I'm actually not really sure how this came up, but I can tell you that I, I'm really glad that it did because as I'm really questioning, like at the end of the day, who's really more important, me or you? Now I'm sure you heard of this scenario before. There's plenty of movies with it. You probably heard it. it's like a life left or something. But either way, I'm gonna put you in the scene. I want you right now, close your eyes. You listen to this, close your eyes. You don't need your eyes to listen. I want you to do this. Imagine, think about somebody that you care about. Now that you've thought about that person, I want you to let me know right now. If you had to choose between saving that one person's life or a thousand other people, who would you pick? So I'm gonna ask you again, who's more important? You or them? So I don't know. I don't really know how it happened, but you know, I was thinking about humanity. I was thinking about the world, where we are today, where we stand as a generation, everything that's happening. And I started just thinking back and seeing how we've gone through so much of this same stuff, same injustice, the same struggles that we face as a generation today. We've seen it all before happen in the past. And it just has me thinking like, this is a question we gotta start asking. Who's more important, me? Or you, them, or you, you or them, I don't know. Everybody's been struggling with that same question. It's like, are they more important than what I want? Are their wants more important than what I want? You know, and it's even pushed people, I mean, seasons, generations, multitudes. You, it's pushed humanity into seasons of warfare and genocide. And at first I was thinking, I was like, you know what? As history, as past tense, this stuff already happened. Like, my decisions today aren't really gonna affect humanity on a global scale. I can't initiate a war, I can't start a war. And I'm right. And if you're thinking that, then you're right. You can't start a war. Your opinion probably won't go that far. Like, you don't have that influence. But I also started realizing that although I can't start a war, I definitely play a part in how long that war, that movement, that injustice will last here on this earth. You see, the moment you decide to start living your life for yourself, making sure that you're number one, like you're king, you actually start living your life on the defensive, trying to make sure that you end up on top and that you never get hurt. You're gonna naturally turn selfish, like it's gonna happen, and you're just gonna end up doing whatever you got to do to make sure that you end up on top or ahead of the next man. On the flip side though, you probably choose to cater to them or somebody else besides you, and you're probably gonna feel more fulfillment. You're, you're, you're serving other people, it's probably gonna help you to grow as a person. You're gonna feel much happier. But at the same time, because now you're keeping larger company or you're putting others before you, the chances of you getting hurt have increased by a lot. So now what do you do when it comes to putting somebody else's happiness or their success before your own? What do you do in this scenario where you're just gonna have to lift somebody up? Like put somebody else before you, put somebody else's priorities or, or make somebody else your priority. Now I really can't sit here and tell you that being selfless or practicing selflessness is actually gonna prove to be worth it all the time because it's not. I've been hurt before. People are gonna hurt you. People are not perfect. You know, I can't sit here and say that I've always chosen to be selfless because I've often chosen to be selfish. But what I can tell you is that I know for a fact that whether you choose them or you, what hangs in the balance is actually the peace that you're gonna feel over your life day in and day out. The more you choose to focus on you, the more you make your life about you, the more you actually start living on the defensive. And because of that, you actually begin to just feel lack of peace. Like it's stressful making sure that you're on top all the time. Is that Cause that just means that everybody else is competition. If you're not busy, go ahead and read Genesis 2.18. It says that man should not be alone. And it sounds a little bit out of context, but I think this fits in perfectly. I think it fits in perfectly because I think the moment you decide to put yourself as the main focus, the, the, the moment you decide to choose you, you're actually putting yourself over somebody else when it comes to your priorities. And let me tell you, it's real, real lonely at the top. So my advice and my thoughts, be somebody that considers the rights and the well-beings of those people around you. I mean, put yourself in their shoes. It's probably real hard to screw somebody over when you feel like you're really screwing yourself over. Be the change that you want to see. You're probably going to get hurt in the process, but you might just change the world while you're at it. So if you want to see peace, you got to live without fear and just accept the consequences. It is what it is. Peace out, y'all.